Hey everybody, Jake here from Bearded Gear, and I have a full review to do for you on this Wii knife. Now, this is the first Wii knife I've reviewed in quite a while, I think. I don't think I've actually even reviewed that many Wii knives on the channel. I've owned a few of them over the years. I have found that they're consistent and good. They're well-made knives. Um, as long as I like the design, I find that the build is generally pretty nice. Um, but they also don't excite me a ton. Um, I picked this one up because it was a really good deal, frankly. Um, I, a friend of mine posted in a Facebook group that he was willing to sell. It was this, and I'm going to do a review right after this on this steel. It's the Lion Steel, this knife, the Lion Steel Rock. Um, and he bundled them together, and I honestly don't remember what I paid, but I remember thinking, that's really cheap, and I know this guy. At least, like, we have some friends of friends. I've seen him around. He's probably decent to deal with. So, um, yeah, I just I jumped on it. I picked him up, and it was kind of impulsive, but it was a good deal. And I was mostly curious about that Lion Steel, and this just happened to be in. And it was like, yeah, maybe it'd be a good chance to check out another Wii, see what they've been up to. So this is called the Upshot, and it's a like a limited run from what I understand. At least that's what the packaging says. I remember from when I unboxed it, apparently they, they did a like a sprint run kind of. There was just a specific number of these. I think there were two colorways. This one is obviously all blacked out, has some bronze stuff. The pocket clip that came on it originally was like kind of this, I think it's like a faux Timascus, like it's all anodized like Timascus, but um, this is, I think, just a Civivi black clip that the first owner tossed on it, which makes the whole thing blacked out, which is nice. I prefer this to that weird timascus -y looking one that uh, he included in the box, but I had no, <laughs> uh, no part of me wanted to put it on here. So um, yeah, it's kind of all murdered out. It's got some brass for the pivot um, and for back here, there's kind of a lanyard attachment point and a standoff. Those are both bronze finished as well. But yeah, it's a, a nice enough looking knife. Very simple, very clean lines, nothing crazy going on. Even when it's open, very simple blade. Um, this is just a simple, simple knife. And I think frankly, I'm gonna do this review pretty quickly and it's gonna kind of follow that same thing. This is a simple but usable knife, okay? So blade steel on it, I don't remember. Uh, wait, does it say? It does. CPM 20 CV. That's what I thought it was. I'm glad. And it's numbered. I'm glad I just saw that. This one is number 238 of 410. So apparently they only did 410 of these. I don't, I don't know if that's 410 of each color variant or 410 total, but it's very faint there at the base, kind of where the scale meets the blade. Um, so yeah, 20 CV is a very good blade steel, in my opinion, um, as long as it's treated well. From what I understand, I think we has gotten pretty good at heat treating 20 CV, so it's probably safe to assume it's pretty good from them. Um, I don't know that for sure because I didn't Rockwell test it or do any significant cut testing with this knife, but um, 20 CV is good. So titanium frame lock, 20 CV blade steel, tall flat grind, very thin behind the edge. This knife has all the makings of a really good user pocket knife, in my opinion. Um, it's a robust lock type. It's built well. Tolerances are nice. Wii is really good in the action department. It's very smooth. So it checks so many boxes. But in a nutshell, it doesn't excite me <laughs> at all. Um, and maybe that just makes me seem pretentious or something. I don't know. But it, it I don't get excited by this knife. Um, it's flipper only, which is not my favorite. I'd prefer a hole for deployment that I could middle finger flick would be my first choice or multiple deployments would be good. If there was studs and a flipper, maybe that could be fun or something to give me more than just the flipper, but flipper works fine. Um, the ergos, it's like the most neutral handle ever. So it's super comfortable for me and probably for everybody. You've got a forward finger choil even, so you can choke up. The jimping is non-aggressive. It's not bothering me. Um, choked back, super comfortable. You've got a good amount of blade length. And for being a relatively stubby blade, this somewhat thin blade stock and really nice thin flat grind has it really thin behind the edge. It's very slicey. So ergos are good. Cutting performance I've found is excellent through cardboard and packaging and haven't done a ton of cutting, but the stuff I've done have been like, wow, this is really, <laughs> it's really quite good. The action for a flipper only knife, is great. Um, it's not guillotine drop shutty, but it's smooth. And if you give it 
a little bit of a flick. Let's drop all the way. Um, it carries very well because it's slim. It's not super light. There's not internal milling, um, which is interesting. I think it, it would feel probably better if it was a little bit lighter, but it's not heavy and it's slim. The pocket clip is deep carry, goes all the way to the butt end of the knife, which is my favorite. Um, this one in particular, because it's all blacked out. If I'm wearing black pants or black shorts, I love that it's just kind of disappears in that way, but it's not thick this way either. It's super comfortable in pocket. It is honestly like, it is a home run of function. <laughs> and so I've, I've come to this interesting point where I'm realizing that like function just isn't enough for me anymore, which is a weird thing to say. I mean, for a long time, I've been saying like, you can have function and form and fun action. And like, you can have all these things, but this one even has like a pretty fun action and it's pretty, it's a nice looking knife. Although it's not overly exciting, kind of to me seems like uh, in some ways like a Laconico design. I know it's not, or at least it doesn't say it is. Um, but it's just very simple, very neutral. But yeah, I've just I've come to this conclusion on it where it's like this is one of the better performing knives I've experienced in a while, in terms of blade geometry for slicing, how comfortable it is in hand, how just like balanced it feels and how usable it seems as a pocket knife if somebody was going to just get a nice pocket knife and put it in their pocket to carry and use every day this would be excellent for it it would be absolutely excellent for it but there's just this missing like maybe x factor or something and i don't know i wasn't determined to not like this knife i was totally open to liking it and i do like it i just if i'm looking at it honestly and objectively i'm also like gonna sell this knife immediately now that i've finished the review because when i compare it to other things that just make me more excited it just doesn't as much it just doesn't make me as excited as some other knives but it's really weird to be saying that because it's so good like it's just it's a good action it's a great blade the ergos are great maybe i'm having an identity crisis i don't know i like this knife quite a bit, but I just can't find myself loving it. It, it just doesn't seem to have much like soul to it. <laughs> I don't know how much that makes sense, but it just seems like it's just a knife. There's no like story happening here. Not that everything has to have a story. I don't know. It's a weird one for me, um, but I guess I'm going to leave it there. It is as recommendable as a knife can pretty much be for somebody looking for just a good folder to carry and use. It checks the boxes that I think are important really, really well. And it's so neutral in its size and shape that I think it'll work for just about everybody's hands. Like it is really, really good in its own way, but I'm not gonna keep it. So um, I don't know, by the time that this goes live, I may have already sold it. If I haven't and you're interested in it, shoot me a message on Instagram or something, but I'm gonna let it go. It's got some snail trails on it and stuff, some little dings, um, I think more from the first owner than me. I haven't carried this a ton, although I've carried it a few times to be ready for the review, but um, yeah, it's not in perfect shape, but I'm gonna sell it for pretty cheap. So there you go. Anyway, <laughs> that's the Wii Upshot limited edition. Um, maybe I need to try another Wii that just seems more exciting and see if it's just, I don't, I don't think it's Wii that's making it that I am not excited about this knife. Wii makes plenty of exciting knives, so we'll see. Anyway, just being honest here. Thanks for checking it out, guys. We'll see you on the next one.